What is a more shocking idea? That thousands of alien civilizations are humming away in our galaxy right now, or that we are all that there is. Now, consider the numbers involved. We live in a universe with billions upon billions of stars. The, our Milky Way galaxy has, at the lowest estimate, 100 billion stars or suns, and at the highest estimate, 400 billion suns. The Milky Way is only one of millions of galaxies out there in the vast cold void of space. So even if the probability of intelligent life emerging is exceedingly small, the sheer number of stars in the heavens would suggest that um, we really are not alone. One man who tried to solve this uh, astronomical conundrum was Frank Drake. He listed all of the questions that scientists would need to answer in order to predict the number of detectable civilizations in the galaxy. He then realized that um, if all of the questions were multiplied together, you would uh, then estimate, have the estimate for the number of detectable civilizations. And so, the Drake equation was born. So Rx refers to the yearly rate of star formation in our galaxy. The next term in the equation is Fp, or the fraction of stars that actually have planetary systems. So now that we've got planets, okay, how many of those planets are actually habitable? There's still a lot we don't know about extrasolar planets, so it's difficult to put an exact figure on NE. You can have potential for life, but how many actually do support life? This is represented by FL in the, in the Drake equation. FI, the number of habitable planets where intelligence actually arises. Drake was interested in using radio astronomy to seek out extraterrestrial civilizations. So his original formulation of the equation factored in the likelihood that they would communicate in ways that we could detect. Uh, represented by FC. Back in the 1960s, it was widely believed that radio would be the communications technology of choice for an advanced civilization. In fact, our own planet has been telegraphing evidence of our technological civilization for nearly 80 years. There are hundreds of stars within 80 light years of Earth that could conceivably harbor life. But would other intelligent civilizations even use radio? Perhaps it's too passe for them, like smoke signals are to us. There's also the possibility that an alien civilization would deliberately mask its presence from its neighbors. You can make a case that some civilizations may be hostile. Therefore, betraying your existence to them may not be too smart. The final term in the Drake equation is a little bit depressing. What's the average length of time a technological civilization uh, stays detectable? Drake himself was worried that an advanced civilization might not be detectable for very long. It's possible that many civilizations are easily detectable for only a short period of time, uh, even though they continue to thrive for thousands and thousands and millions of years. So what's the answer? According to Drake's original calculations in 1961, n equals somewhere between 4 and 10. However, revising many of Drake's estimates with the latest scientific knowledge, we get a different result. We arrive with a new figure for n of a very low 0.00127. It means that during any 100,000 year period in our galaxy's history, around 127 detectable civilizations uh, will crop up. Drake himself uh, maintains an air of optimism. He has a strong conviction that extraterrestrial civilizations exist in our galaxy today. He estimates that there are about 10,000 of them in the Milky Way right now, which sounds like a lot, right? But even if all of them were detectable, it would still take a long time to find even one. If our galaxy has a minimum of 100 billion stars, then you need to search 10 million stars before you start to worry that they ain't so common.